guys, welcome to another episode of Keeping Goals. If you're new here, my name is Connor O'Keefe and Keeping Goals is a vlog following my attempt at becoming a professional goalkeeper at the highest level of international football. And today, we're back in San Roque, back training again with Ilias, with Jack and Reese behind the camera. And today, we're going to be testing out a very interesting concept, the Air Flare Reactor Football sent to me very kindly by my glove sponsors Calia. This football has been mathematically colour ratioed in order to make it as difficult as possible for your eyes to track the ball. The combination of colours, in theory, makes it so difficult that when the ball is struck, it's very hard to see the ball. So you have to concentrate more on the striker, on his body position, how he strikes the ball, and therefore deal with that, improve your reactions, and your perception of the flight. We're gonna test this ball against a normal Adidas match ball, see how they compare, see if as a goalkeeper, it is beneficial for me and helps me with my training. So we've got Ilias, we've got Jack. We're gonna do some you know the drill type drills. Ready for it? Let's go. Let's give it a go. So, Jack, first drill, what have we got? So, what we're going to do, taking it from, you know, the drill with Jimmy Bonov, <laughs> we'll have the ball on the line, the goal yeah. line there. Yeah. Uh, six balls, player is going to be finishing his in the, in the D. The guy has got to ping it out to him, he's got to take one touch, keep it inside the D, and then have a strike. No more than one touch after that, can't leave the D. And how many goals you get in six shots? We'll do six shots for Jack, six shots for Ilias, or with the reactor ball. Then we'll change balls, go with the normal Adidas match ball and see if there's a difference. We'll add a little bit of spice to it and the fact we'll do Jack and Ilias versus Con, saves and goals, see who comes out on top with the reactor ball and then see who comes out on top with the Adidas ball. I reckon I've got you two to be fair. Uh -huh. Alright, let's give it a go. So first impressions of the air flare reactor ball, it does fly. When it comes off the boot, it moves very, very quickly. The light blue is what you see when the ball moves. So because that's not the whole ball, it has the impression of coming very, very fast because you only see the blue. And obviously each time you see the blue, it's closer and closer and closer. So it seems like it's moving very quickly. It's hard to react to. It's hard to hold it for sure. If you can parry it, then that's great. But it definitely does help with reactions. And when you've got someone like Ilias and Jack hitting them, it really, really does fly. So we're going to give the same drill a go with the Adidas match balls, see if there's any difference.
Wow. <laughs> Overall, I think there were three goals with the reactor ball and only two goals with the Adidas ball. I'm not sure if that was to do with the ball or to do with the fact that Jack had a nightmare shooting. So, we're going to change the drill. At the minute, the reactor ball, there is a difference with the normal Adidas ball, you can tell and more goals have gone in as a result. So we're going to do another drill, see if it's the same. I also think I've got slightly more saves and goals, but we'll put that on screen. So, next drill, let's give it a go. So, Jack, first drill, Ilias yeah. definitely had your number, to be fair. You only scored one goal I'm in a midfielder, I'm a midfielder. What are we doing for the second drill? What's so, the second drill, put the ball around the D at different angles. You're going to have two shots with your left, two shots with your right. You start over here on the... Uh, Sort of edge of the center circle, yeah. And you're gonna run and hit it with your left first time strike, yeah. Back to the center circle, then strike with your left again, back to the center circle, and so on. Mm -hmm. so there's a bit of fitness involved, yeah. and it's first time striking around the box. Okay, so we're gonna do four strikes with the reactor ball, yep, for you and then Ilias. Then we'll do four strikes each with the Adidas match ball and see if there is any difference and see if you can score some more goals. Hopefully. <laughs> Outfielder, how did you find playing with that? It was really light. Like, I think as a keeper, like I said, when you see the blue, that's what you see. The darker and the red colours and blur. So when you see the blue, it makes it feel as though it's coming quicker than it is because you only see that on every rotation. So when you guys were hitting it, especially when Ilias was smacking it, it was flying straight at you quick. So that's why I was parrying a lot instead of catching and holding, for example. But in terms of the drills, I think Strikers versus keepers, who was the winner? Yes, was the winner. <laughs> Victory! I'd like to place on record that I am a defensive midfielder. <laughs> <laughs> but at the end of the day, football was always the winner. <laughs> TM. <laughs> TM. <laughs> TM. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I hope you found it interesting. I hope it's brought you some value. Interesting thing to play with. Interesting ball. Definitely helps as a keeper in terms of reaction and ju judging strike. But yeah. Air flare reactor football. There we go. So that's it for another episode of Keeping Goals. Thank you very, very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it brought you some value. Hope you found it interesting seeing us try out the reactor football. Definitely something that I'm going to try and incorporate a bit more into my training when working on reactions and judging the body shape of a striker. It is very, very different to a normal ball. So adapting your eyes and following the movement pattern of the striker and the strike itself, rather than relying on your vision of the ball, gave me something to think about and something to try. So I'm gonna give it a bit more of a try, a bit more of a use, and I'm sure it will help me in my training. But thank you for watching as always. Please subscribe if you haven't already so that you don't miss an episode of Keeping Goals. Please like, please share, keep the channel growing. 
at the time of filming, we are so, so close to 20,000 subscribers. So if you could give us a big push in sharing the channel, sharing on social media, trying to get more people subscribed, that would really mean the world to me and to Johnny so that we could break 20,000 subscribers as a Keeping Goals Union. This week's Patron of the Week is Jeremy Bruton. Jeremy, thank you so much for your support. I wouldn't be able to do what I do without people like you. So here is your Keeping Goals shout out. If you guys would like to be Patron of the Week and benefit from all the other bonuses received by patrons, make sure you follow the link in the description of this video and become a patron over at my Patreon page. If you don't know already, we have a Keeping Goals Facebook group. Just type the Keeping Goals Union into Facebook and come and join the conversation there. And finally, if you guys want to buy any Calia products from gloves, footballs, including the reactor ball, make sure you visit their website and use the discount code O'Keefe for a 10% discount on any purchase. But thank you for watching as always. Your support means the world. We'll see you next Sunday for the next episode of Keeping Goals as always at 1pm. But have a great week. Keep chasing improvement and I'll speak to you in a bit.